I'm grateful to you in my capacity as USAID Administrator because uh, USAID here in Kosovo works so closely with you and your team every day uh, to try to push forward, reform, uh, enhance economic prosperity, enhance job opportunities uh, for young people, um, uh, grow nascent sectors here in this country that we think have tremendous uh, potential uh, to provide jobs for young people. Um, and we've had a really productive uh, conversation just now, just as our, our conversations are always uh, very intense and very productive. Thanks as well to you for being uh, such an inspiration, uh, not only to young women and girls here in Kosovo, but to young women and girls all around the world. Um, watching you in action uh, inspires uh, young people to believe that they too uh, can make a difference. So, so thank you so much. Uh, I've received an incredibly warm welcome uh, here in Kosovo over the past uh, few days. I've had the chance to meet with young IT entrepreneurs, women who are running thriving uh, food production businesses, uh, who are now getting their exports um, uh, to markets across Europe, uh, young people determined to work at a people-to-people -people level toward reconciliation among communities, and leaders who are advocating for the rights of all of Kosovo's ethnic communities. Each of them are working in their own way uh, toward building uh, that even brighter future uh, for themselves and their country. Uh, but again, it's very hard to find words to describe uh, how much Kosovo has changed since I was last here in 1999, um, to see thriving businesses, uh, to see people-to-people -people ties um, growing uh, every day, uh, to see uh, where Kosovo also stands in the community of nations and how many countries uh, recognize Kosovo's progress as a democracy, uh, as uh, a place uh, for uh, private sector investment, um, as a place to visit. Um, so uh, it's a very, a very different uh, Kosovo, and, and that uh, didn't happen by accident. It happened because of the iron determination uh, and the remarkable resilience uh, of the people of this country. I've had a chance as well here uh, to meet with uh, our incredible uh, embassy and USAID uh, staff, who every day have been working uh, to try to deepen the bonds, uh, the unshakable bonds between the United States and Kosovo, uh, but also to enhance prosperity and to deepen the rule of law and democracy. USAID support, uh, for example, has helped Kosovo establish, as you know well, Madam President, its first commercial court uh, that in the nine months since its creation has resolved more than 2,000 cases. This is an incredibly important uh, part of our message as well when we travel uh, abroad or engage uh, private sector leaders that Kosovo is open for business. Yesterday, I helped launch Kosovo's very first uh, solar auction, a critical first step in moving the country from unreliable and unhealthy energy sources like coal to cleaner, greener sources of power at competitive prices uh, for consumers. I also had a productive meeting yesterday with Prime Minister Korti, and again, I'm so grateful uh, to President Osmani for making uh, time uh, to meet with me and the team here today. We discussed how the United States can best support Kosovo at this critical juncture for this country uh, and in light of the tremendous progress that has already been made. We spoke about the critical importance of continued progress uh, on normalization with Serbia. Uh, the complexities uh, of this dialogue are well understood by everyone that I have met with here over the past few days. At the same time, I've heard repeatedly from Kosovans that they believe that this is the right direction uh, for their country. In meeting with the Prime Minister and President Osmani, I underscored the strong U.S. support for normalization 
and shared our encouragement for both Kosovo and Serbia to move quickly uh, in this effort uh, because of all that normalization can unlock, uh, which will bring such rewards again to the people of this great country. This includes implementation of the Association of Serb Majority Municipalities. Progress on normalization will make a significant difference for regional stability and for the prosperity of both nations. Normalization, in other words, will be good for business. I leave Kosovo uh, immensely optimistic about its future. This young country, one of the youngest in the world, has made incredible strides in what to me feels like a long time, but is in fact the blink of an eye uh, in those 24 years since 1999. I feel privileged to have had the chance to return here as U.S. aid administrator uh, when, when there are so many uh, tools in the development toolkit that can be brought to bear uh, to continue uh, to deepen uh, this partnership, this bond between our two peoples, and this incredible story of a democracy on the move. The friendship and connection between Kosovo and the United States is deep and it is something that all of us in the Biden administration value deeply. I want to reiterate the United States' continued support for Kosovo's future, support that since 1999 has totaled $2 billion and extensive engagement from all levels of the U.S. government. We will continue to aid Kosovo's efforts to build effective and inclusive institutions to take its rightful place as a sovereign country in European and Euro-Atlantic institutions and to pursue a brighter, more prosperous future. Thank you so very much for the warm welcome uh, and I look forward to much collaboration in the months and years ahead.